Stacy Piercy song. We're under contract with him. He makes us do it. You know, I'm just kidding. He heard me say that. He'd slap me. He, uh, he probably, I'm not kidding. He would. He's that mean. No, he, he's a precious man, precious man of God. Um, if y'all ever heard the Inspiration Quartet, they do a couple songs. Uh, My Lord is taking good care of me, and God makes no mistakes. But Piercy wrote those. He wrote these two songs we're going to do now. If you ever wrote there, go visit his church. He's, his church is about half the length of this one and one row, and he packs about 50 people in there, right over on Jolly Park Parkway. He's precious people. And uh, this song here, he, uh, <clears throat> we call this our hell song. Y'all are good, good Baptists. Y'all didn't laugh. That's good. That's good. Not laughing won't send you there, but it's probably not good to laugh at that. I don't know. You'll, you'll know why we call it that after you hear it. Just listen to the words of the song. Y'all ready to hear it? One, two. Look, I like to call it the, 
I've sung too much this weekend, Dad, and I'm ready to go home, look. And she just gave it to me. <laughs> and, and I can't help it. I'm sorry. <laughs> she does a good job. I, I, I love my girls. I don't ever get tired of singing with my girls or traveling and doing what we do. We just, we're, we're kind of weekend warriors. We don't go much during the week. Dad has to work during the week. Y'all know how that is, but... Uh, but I never get tired of doing this and never get tired of singing and ministering and trying to be a blessing and help to people. Yeah. I appreciate what the preacher said. And I know, uh, just uh, of course, I want everybody to relax, everybody to have a, a good time and, and worship. But also, the old song says, All is vain unless the Spirit of the Holy One comes down. Yes. Amen. 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 We want Him to show up tonight. Yeah. We want Him to be here and to do a work and, and somebody's yeah. heart and life. That's what yeah. it's all about. It's yeah. about it ain't about putting on a show and entertaining and tickling your ears. It's just, you know, kind of like preaching in that respect. We're not, we're not called to do that. We're not, not to do that. It's okay to feel good. <coughs> but at the end of the day, we want to see God work a work. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Have His will and way. Yes. Like the old timers, they said, just let Him have His way. Amen. You know what that means? Just let Him have His way. That's what it means. You need to let Him do that tonight. In your Amen. heart and your life. Yeah. It's the only way to go if you're a Christian. It's the only way to go anyway. But if you're saved by the grace of God, you don't let Him have His way, you're going to pay for it. Yeah. Yeah. So you might as well just, just kick yeah. back and let kick the shoes off. And like the pastor said, just worship tonight. Let the Lord have His way. All right, we're going to do another Stacey Piercy song now. This one's called I'm Just a Little Homesick. I think I'm in the right place.
saved tonight, and that song right there don't touch your heart. The words of that song, that's right. That's right. You might ought to check up. Amen. Yeah. 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 When Brother Pierce sent us that song, he uh, he told me, he said, Brother Wade, said, I feel like the Lord let me write that song for your girls to sing, which is just an honor for anybody to ever say anything like that. But, um, we've had had several people tell us that, and I told them, well. It wasn't the Lord's will for us to sing that, I promise you. Yeah, but, but when he sent us that, when we listened to it, uh, my wife and I just sat there on the bed and probably listened to it about four or five times in a row and just cried. <coughs> and I'm so glad there's a better home away. Aren't you glad? Aren't you glad this life ain't all there is to it? So thankful for the grace of God.
favorite Kyle Rowland song. <laughs> I know she wrote hundreds, hundreds, and hundreds of great songs. But I tell everybody, I believe she was probably filled with the Holy Ghost when she wrote that. <laughs> I believe that a lot of my heart. I'm going to take a second and just give, we'll do a couple more. We'll give the girls a little bit of breather here. Get some water. Wipe the sweat off their face. Apparently they're okay. Is it dripping yet, honey? Are you good? <laughs> We, uh, you know, the Bible talks about talks about a demon named Legion. I believe the other one's name is Paula. Somebody say amen. <laughs> we don't do Paula very well. My brother Eve was talking about them all struggling with it. We have been too. But the Lord's been good to us. There's some weekends we go, we think, Lord, we I just don't know how we're gonna get through it this weekend. But He always He always helps us and touches us. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. I believe that means in every facet. I believe He'll give you liberty yes. physically, spiritually, yes. in every aspect of your life where the Spirit of the Lord resides. I believe, yes. I'm not, I'm not getting around. I'm not one of them health and wealth crazy people. I hope ain't nobody like that around. <coughs> I'm not, I, don't, I don't buy into that. I believe we all go through tribulations and trials and yeah. things like that. But I do believe that the Lord will take care of us. Amen. Amen. I believe He'll take care of us. Well, I'll, uh, that's Megan down there on the end. She's 15, plays the bass, sings the lead parts. She's been playing the bass maybe a year, year, year and a half or so now, and uh, doing a good job. Tell everybody she covers up Daddy's boo-boos with that bass. Amen. <laughs> Does a good job. And Addie, our little one there, she's, uh, she's 10 years old and uh, sings a little bit of everything. Does a good job. And, and Katie's our middle one. I said she was our oldest one this morning. I don't know. Why? She's, she's got about as tall as the oldest one, so I get them confused now. That's what it is. But uh, no, she does a great job. Sings all the high parts. And uh, I told her this morning, she asked me a while back, she said, uh, Daddy, can we please do some without the high parts? <laughs> no, they've all got the high parts. So she, she's got to sing the high parts. But I tell the story about the girls. A lot of people ask, and everybody has a story, you know, and ours is. is, is Probably a little bit unique too. When we, I kind of grew up singing with my sister, and uh, then her and her husband, and myself, sang as a trio for a while. And we all started popping out babies left and right. I had to quit that because it got, got kind of hectic. But then, as our children grew up, um, they started uh, singing a little bit. And uh, how how it came to pass with them is, uh, be honest, this is just the honest truth, we because a lot of people say, "Boy, y'all must practice." And, some people think we take, I don't know how in the world they as hicky as we sound, they think we take singing lessons, but some people even think that. But they, uh, every bit of it's God-given. We were driving down the road one day and, and uh, had a McCamey's CD in, and that song that we sang earlier, right on time, was playing. And uh, I heard somebody back there in the back singing a harmony part, singing Carol's harmony part. <laughs> And I, I, tried, I was trying to figure out, we couldn't tell which one it was, and I ran it was old Katie there. She was just a belting it out. Never had tried to get her to sing a harmony part or hear a harmony part. She just started singing it. And I'll tell you what that is. That's the Lord's what that yeah, is. Yeah, it's right. God given the gift, and we give right. all the, the praise and the glory and honor for We never, ever, ever take one ounce of credit for it. He gets all the glory and all the praise. He'll put a song in your heart. Amen? Yeah, yeah, sure. Amen. Yeah. He will. Amen. So they're the Morris, like the pastor said. He said, I, you know, I don't look like a Morris. I hope I don't look like a Morris' sister. <laughs> if I do, y'all tell me. I'll do something about that. But hoping this beard kind of gives it away. <laughs> of course, these days, you don't know, do you, really? That's sad to say. <laughs> oh, Lordy. But anyway, uh, the Morris' sisters. And uh, with, uh, I'm, I'm a preacher. I preach a lot. We travel a lot to sing. We go to the Concord Baptist Church down in Calhoun, Georgia, Fairmount, Georgia, pastor Brother Sammy Allen. Anybody know Brother Sammy Allen? Heard Brother Sammy Allen? A lot of people know Brother Sammy. He's my pastor. Appreciate my pastor. Thankful for the blessings of God in my life. Amen. It's good to see our friends. I was talking about pastor Brother and Sister Maney back there from over in Whitwell, Tennessee. The metropolis of Whitwell, Tennessee. I think y'all might have one more stop sign than we have in Resaca, maybe. I don't know. But, uh, good to see them. Uh, I tell you what, the A.G. family, y'all heard the A.G. family yeah, saying before? Man. We're just in awe of them, how talented they are. And not just that, but how, how gracious and humble they are and how the Lord lets them be used. 
I just love people that are real. I don't. I'm, I sound like I'm beating a dead horse, but that's what I like. Amen. I like it. I think that's the way we ought to be. Appreciate that. All right, we'll do a couple more, and then what do y'all want to do, girl? Y'all pick. Y'all pick one out. A piano song. No, okay. Well, y'all, we, we've got conflict on the stage here. We can't have it. Uh, okay, we'll do that. Here we go. This song, this song's called He Saw It All. Ready? Y'all don't, I don't need to be preaching. 
believe that and you preach it. But, but in spite of it all, we're, we're blessed, aren't we? Yeah. Blessed, blessed, blessed. Yes. And uh, I mean, I, don't, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't dare embarrass anybody, but I look sitting right down here in front of us. This, this sweet, I don't know this lady here from Adam's house, Kathy, but just looking at that right there, I'll make us, I'll bring us to tears. Yes. And I'll make us thankful right. for how blessed yes. we are. Could be, could be like that. It could be laying in a hospital bed somewhere. It could have a child that's dying. And I'm not, I know it's probably some people here have had went through that. We could all be like that. Yes. We ought to all thank God for the blessings in our lives. Yes. Just the blessings to be able to stand and worship and praise Him, and give Him thanks. Not have to yes. worry about somebody beating down the door back here and throwing us in jail because of it. At least not yet. We may be getting there pretty soon the way this country's going, but we ain't there yet. Amen. We still got freedom to worship, to praise the Lord, to assemble together. Well, thank God for that. And I want to thank you publicly. Publicly tonight, I want to thank you for all the blessings of God in my life. And that's kind of what this song talks about. Let's thank y'all, Pastor Friends. Among us, all that he does, all of his mercy and all of his love. The pen of the writer could write every day, even this world could never contain how much I've been blessed. Warmth in the winter.
Sun.